Right. Hello, everybody. We're back again. Uh, this is story number 45. 45. And what we made in tonight, Teddy? Picky eater. The picky eater. Right. Let's see. Pippa. I mean, Piper. Is a wonderful piglet. Do she wears hard in school? She can speak Latin and fluently. <laughs> <laughs> she speaks Latin fluently. Fluently. <laughs> she is a great dancer and she is a marvellous mud roller. But Pippa is not Piper. a... Piper. Pippa? He, 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 basically, he says Piper's not a proper name, so he's calling her Pippa. So you read on, go on. But Pippa is not a good eater. Some m might call her picky. But Pippa doesn't... See, it that way. Okay, she has just one simple rule for her food. It must begin with the letter B. After breakfast, she gets waffles, eggs, and orange juice. Nope, not gonna eat it. Pepper exclaims. Her mum. Calmly. calmly, calmly said, please eat five bites. Pippa eats exactly five bites. Waffles or not pancakes, the egg is in post and the orange juice has no, no pulp. Bloop. <laughs> pulp. <laughs> pulp. <laughs> bloop. 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 She says. At Up once, Pippa is served a turkey sandwich, an apple and a chocolate chip cookie. Her father said, please, my little piglet, eat five bites. Yum. Pippi eats exactly five bites. Go on. I'm just moving around because it's very sunny there. Pippi eats exactly five bites. She rolls her eyes. The apple is not a pear. The turkey should be peanut butter and pie would be so much better than a cookie, she says. At dinner, Pippa is served rice, green beans. That's, that's it, that's it, Green beans and chicken nugget. They're my favourite. Please take just five rice, her parent. Plead. Plead. Again, Pippa takes exactly five bites. The rice is not pasta, the beans are not peas, and I prefer pizza to chicken nuggets, she tells her parents. Pippa's mum, mother, mother <laughs> didn't know what to do. She ordered a book and followed its advice. Advice. As she whip, whipped up her pineapple upside down cake, she hid vegetables inside, but Pippa was not fooled. The next night, as usual, Pippa object objected. Objected to dinner, but this time Piper's mom was not in the mood for other fight. For another fight about food. food. In fact, she lost her picking marble. Who are the marbles? <laughs> Go on, turn the page. Who are the marbles? Round the neck. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, she said to Pippa, don't eat, but you may not utter a word or you'll feed into your room. But replied Pippa, not one word, says Mom. Please. I'm fight with the page. Papa goes sad. Papa? <laughs> How many names has this pig got? <laughs> Piper, I mean Pippa, Mum and Dad. No, no, just <laughs> read it. Piper just sat there 
Mum and Dad kept eating. Right, next page. Pippa kept sitting. This happened every night that week. By Friday, Pippa was quite hungry. She took a bite then. She took over bite an overbite. Pretty soon she had eaten a small dinner. The next night, Pippa quietly tried some new food. She ate carrots, meatballs, apple, and apples. She was full. Well, I suppose I can't eat food that doesn't begin with P. Pippa told her parents, but don't even think about messing with my pink and purple clothes. It's very sunny, shuffle this way a bit. Right, let's say good night, picky eater. Good night. Good, good night, night. Harris.